hear me clearly. America is not a racist country. Some of y'all might remember a story. It might have came out about a year or two ago. And it was a man that was calling a church and he was harassing a black employee who happened to be a woman that worked for the church. And he racially harassed this woman by phone for, I think, like about 19 months. He finally did um, get arrested and he was recently sentenced. The first message made me sick. Shameless man who sought help from Montana church before making hateful calls, harassing its black employees. Sentence. A man who confessed to making numerous racially motivated phone calls to a black woman employed at a Billings Montana church has been sentenced to 18 months in prison last week. Joshua Leon Highstand, 41 years old, will be subject to one year of supervised release after he serves his prison term. U.S. Attorney, um, this is what they announce. Uh, Jesse Laslovich, this is what they said. So he was just sentenced on October 20th. In June, High Stand pled guilty to charges of making harassing calls. This is according to U.S. District Judge Susan Waters. Also ordered him to pay $617 in restitution. Should have been more than that. Laslovich condemned High Stan's action in a statement. When High Stan, a white man, went to Billings Church looking for help, an elderly African American woman who worked there responded with kindness and assistance. In return, for nearly two years, High Stan launched a barrage of harassing, hateful, and racist calls and voicemails at her, the church said. His racist conduct, they said, you know, technically was not illegal, but the victim of these calls, they're identifying her as Jane Doe, described the distressing nature of High Stand's message during a statement in court that left her deeply shaken and anxious. Well, actually, it is a crime what he did, you know. You know, no, it's not illegal to pick up the phone and even be a jerk on the phone, but what he did by keeping it up for nearly two years, no, that was a crime. That was definitely a crime. The first message made me sick. I literally started shaking. What he said really frightened me. I have high anxiety when listening to those messages, Jane Doe said. According to court documents, in November of 2020, High Stan visited the church to seek work and financial help. Jane Doe gave him a gift card. However, a few days later, High Stan left a voicemail for Jane Doe using racial slurs and threatening to withhold further financial support if the church continued to employ Black people. Oh my goodness. So his unemployed butt is going to tell the church who they can and cannot hire. The next month, High Stan made references to his white friends and reiterated that if the church did not hire African Americans, he would contribute more to the church. His actions did not stop there. High Stan left another voicemail stating, 
Nobody wants you here. Okay, so a man that don't work at the church is going to call an employee at the church and tell her nobody wants her there. You don't even work there. What the hell? This man had way too much time on his hands. This is what I mean. You know, when people act like this, the best thing to do is fire them because they're not doing their job. If you got all this time to be on the phone or harassing somebody on your job, then you're not a good employee and you should be booted out. You need to be kicked to the curb. So the woman reported the harassment to the Billings Police Department and authorities identified Highstan as the perpetrator. Highstan initially apologized to law enforcement during a phone interview, but continued his offensive behavior. Well, what is he apologizing to the cops for? For what? That's stupid. So anyway, in August of 2021, he left another voicemail, which he used racial slurs and stated that the world is going to end because of your black a race. That is stupid. Never mind. You can't make logic. <laughs> you can't make sense out of what these folks say. <clears throat> He said, the world is going to end because of your black a race. This is coming from a person that comes from a group of people that are literally going extinct on the planet. Okay. High stand harassment persisted for 19 months during which he also targeted historically black colleges and universities with similar threatening and racially motivated calls. And the investigation determined that High Stan had made these calls from outside of Montana. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I'm glad he's in jail. And he just has probation for an additional year. But really, it's a nothing sentence. He'll be out of this. And who's to say he won't do it again? You know, he's a coward. He picked up a phone and did all of that by phone. You know? Unfortunately, there's more from where he came from. Racism is here to stay as long as these folks are in rulership. Just understand that. It, it won't go until they are completely gone or taken out of power. Then it, it will probably cease to exist on earth. It really shouldn't be here anyway. It's a stupid concept altogether. But this man is now paying a price for his racism. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.